guys, I'm just tired, you know. Yo, Edoche needs help. I don't care where the help will come from, maybe prayer or whatever. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it is a cordial or something. He has come out again. And this time around, it's about his son. He's put, I mean, send a message out again about his son. And um, I'm, I'm just going to break all of this down to you. And at the end of the day, we, I'm, I hope we'll all agree that this guy has a big problem. And um, everything that is happening to him now, I think he's just the, um, he manufactured it by himself. He, he orchestrated, uh, uh, maybe not orchestrated, okay, he didn't orchestrate it. That's probably a wrong choice of word, but um, he's to blame, he's to be blamed for, for all of this. Anyway, my name is Bros B, and uh, welcome to my channel. And if this is your first time here, please, I suggest you subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube and um, we would like to welcome you into the family, into the fold. And if you're on Facebook, follow our page, um, follow our page. And um, yes, so that as soon as we have another breaking news, you'll be the first to know. Now, for those of you that are not even aware of how this all started. It was, I think it was on the 1st of January, May Edoche, his ex-wife, sent out a message, you know, about what happened to her, her experiences in the year 2023. I believe that was the same year she lost her son. And this was the message um, she, put, she put out. She goes, there 2023, you are pregnant on the very first day of Jan, unknown to anyone what you will deliver. You dealt with me in the most catastrophic way. That is May Edoshi saying all of this. Too many adver adversities and misfortune and the worst of it, you stole my own flesh and blood, leaving me in the most devastating, miserable and confused state that I could never have imagined. I lost all hope and nearly gave up. I had too many questions eating me all up, but kept hearing that voice that I kept hearing that voice echoing, who am I to question God? And this is me, Edoshe, saying all of this. That, that was on the first of January. And she continues. I struggled so hard and stood on God's words, commanding us to give him praise in every situation, despite how difficult it is. Truly, I appreciate all the good people who made me cross paths, um, who good people you made me cross paths with, sorry. Um, my family, friends, strangers, turn friends, and many online family. And she continues, I cannot begin to list names because it is endless, but I want you all to know I want you all to know that I will forever remain thankful for the incredible level of love and support shower upon me and my family in the most in this most difficult time. I am grateful to God Almighty for being God in my life. In other words, I am so glad that that man is not that I'm so glad that man is not God. 2023 is all is with all that is with me. I say goodbye to you forever as I embrace the new year 2024, singing my song with a life of thanksgiving, a life of forgiveness, and a life of um, commitment to God. I pray that God in his infinite, infinite mercy and goodness um, will bless us all and shield us under his um, const constant love. Affliction shall never rise in our homes in Jesus' name. I say amen to that too. I wish you all happy and prosperous New Year. That was on the uh, 1st of January. And shortly after that, I can't remember, now maybe the same day, um, Yol Edoshe came. <laughs> and that was the beginning of all this drama. Uh, they call it fracas, fracas, right? Um, um, Yol Edoshe goes... Um, 2023, this is Yol Edoshe now. That was after the wife, it was the, the first message I read out. That was the wife, um, May Edoshe's message. Now, this is Yol after 
the the wife's message. He goes, 2023, and this 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 is the same year that is now sending out messages, you know, about his um, dead son and all of that. His late son, right? So just keep up with me, please. He goes, 2023 has been my best year so far. His best year so far. 2020, he said 2023 was his best year so far. That was the same year he lost his son. I believe that was his first son, right? Now, he goes, thank you, Lord, for your blessings and all. I can't even thank God enough. 2024 will be outstanding. 2023 will be a child's play compared to the blessings that will follow me in 2024. And for that, I thank you, Lord. May your name be praised forever. Amen. 2024, we go we go, we go harder. We well, sorry, 2024. We go harder. That was Joel Edoshin. He sent that. He sent that out. Right now. Shortly after that, I believe he now wrote again. This is in response. Is is reply to the the message sent out by his wife. He goes, "Oh, 2023 stole your flesh and blood, but you still had enough time to do breast enlargement surgery." And Tommy talk without your husband consent. That was your. That was your. So let no one come here and be saying, "Oh, it wasn't your. Or your wasn't in control of his account. Somebody was texting all of this, all of that." No, no. Listen, that was your doing all of this to himself, right? And I continue. Obviously, um, obviously endo endorsed by your married boyfriend. That was your talking about his ex, um, claiming that um, he's going out with a married man, right? Okay. Enough of the manipulation. Stop manipulating people on social media to hate me and feel pity for you while you enjoy your, your life secretly because they don't know the real you. I will not take it in, in 2024. I've, I've even... I've been silent for too long. I've been doing uh, my best to protect your image while you are doing um, all you can to destroy mine. That was still seem your saying all of these things. Right. After that, that don't forget, that was his um, second or second message in attacking his ex-wife, right? This is his third one. Um, he goes, you are filed for the divorce, yet you refuse to drop my name, return the bride price I, I paid. You uh, return the bride price I pay you and your family refused. I have asked for the return of the bride price a couple of times. You people vehemently, uh, vehemently refused. I don't understand why. Now, you see, talking about the bride price, Rita um, Edoshe, which happens to be um, 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 Edoche's um, dad, um, because Rita Edoche married to um, was was I'm sorry, I've forgotten his name now, it's going to come back to me. So, anyway, they are relatives. So, Rita Edoche actually came out now refuting what, um, Yol Edoche said about the bride price that actually, in, in actual sense, it wasn't even um, uh, the duty of the wife's family to return the dowry. It was actually the duty of Yol Edoche and his kinsmen to actually go to uh, May Edoche's family and to demand for the bride price. So that's the way um, um, it's, it's, it's done in their culture. So let's put that aside. That means what y'all said in this particular text regarding um, bride price, Rita was able to put it aside that that was actual lie. Are you getting my point? Then secondly, in the same text, he came out accusing the wife of doing breast implant, breast enlargement, tummy talk, and all of that. And in the same text, um, he accused the wife of going out with a with a married man. I. I mean, allegedly, that was what he said. That Don't quote me. That was what Yol Edoshe said in his text. Are you getting my point? Because the, 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 the thing is, 
you guys are no longer married. Why do you now occupy your time going about looking into what is happening in the life of your ex-wife? You're no longer married. Get your acts together. Follow your own life and put your all your being into everything that, that concerns you. But going about monitoring what is happening in the, I mean, what business is 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 um yelled at issue now? If the wife is going out with a married man, I mean, I'm not saying it's right. Are you getting my point? Because I mean, if you are uh, talking about me now, if you leave your husband uh, because of infidelity, and you ended up going out. Um, I'm talking generally now, I beg your pardon, I'm talking generally now, I'm not talking specifically about um, what y'all said about me, Edoshi. I'm just talking generally that, okay, you left your husband because of infidelity and then um, you ended up marrying, I mean, going out with another married man. I mean, that's, that doesn't make any sense. You understand? I'm not saying that was what, um, that is what May is, is into. I'm just talking generally. You understand? Because um, just that's just by the by the way. If you leave your husband because of infidelity, in my own humble opinion, that's the most senseless thing for you to do. Because where where are you gonna go? You're gonna go to another man. I mean, who tells you that one is not gonna be doing even be worse than um than 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 your previous man. You understand? The only reason I can I will encourage any woman to leave their home or matrimonial home is because of um if it has anything to do with domestic violence. That's just it. So let's pack that and put that aside. So continue that story now. So why is your Edoshe why why is he so occupied with what is happening in the life of his ex-wife? That bit is what I honestly do not understand. And that's why I'm saying to in I mean it, I'm saying it I mean with all my heart I'm not saying this to insult him or something I think this guy is going through some some issues I think this guy is having some emotional problem that he, he needs to attend um he needs help he, he needs somebody to to attend to him and sit him down and and have a talk with him you understand because how can you say all of this all sort of unpleasant things about your ex-wife. Your kids are not even talking to you anymore. Do you understand? You said all of that and all of a sudden you deleted all those messages. You deleted all those messages. And you now come around 360 degrees now and you're writing, putting a pen, I mean a message um, about your late son. All of this does not add up. All of this is saying to people, that this guy needs a help. Somebody needs to get a hold of him and grab him, take him somewhere and, you know, let him have some serious talking to. That's just in my own opinion because he brought all of this to himself. He, has, he is the one that will take all of, all of this blame because if you did not put all of this in out there, nobody is going to be dragging you online. Nobody is going to be saying all sorts of things about you. Are you getting my point? And for those people that keep going about, that or saying, oh, it was um, um, it was this uh, wife, the present wife, the second wife, that is in control of his account, that is the same one that is sending out all sorts of, I mean, that is BS right there. You understand? So if you say it was um, um, that woman that sent, uh, his second wife that sent out all those messages out. So who, who is the one that sent out this message now? Because this is what you're sent out today about his, um, about his, his late son. You understand? So he said, your Edoshe pens emotional body note to late son. Cam, Cam Billy. I, be, I believe that's his full name. The actor noted that he has never, he, he, that he never knew that he will one day write a note like this. He wished him happiness in the afterlife where he is and express how much he misses him. That was your, you understand? So what he said, can be yo, happy 17th birthday, my great son. Hope you are doing well over there. I never knew I will never, I will ever do a write-up like this. But here, here we are, life. I kept asking God to let me see you again and he granted my wish. And I saw you uh, once in, in my dream. 
you look much taller and more handsome and bigger. You are you are growing. Seems you are now playing basketball over there and and left football. You look very happy. Obviously, life over there is quite different from here. Down here, we are doing our best to cope. It is not been it, it has not been easy without you around. The pain is terrible, but I am strong, very strong. I have to be strong for me and my and, and your siblings. While submitting totally to the will of God, we miss you, we love you, but God loves you more. You are elevated now. Keep watching over us all. Keep flying, keep flying, son, till we meet again. Don't stop playing football. Happy 17th birthday, son. Daddy loves you. That was that was um, what y'all put out today. And you'll be wondering, why? Okay, what made him put out all those nasty texts in the first place? What made him delete all of those texts? What made him now turn around and send this message, bad day wish to his late son? There's, there's, this is just too much to handle. And you cannot but have pity that this this guy is obviously going through something. Somebody needs to get a hold of him and let him not destroy himself by, I mean, in, with, with, with his own actions. That's just the way I, I look at it. You understand? So, y'all takes the blame in all of this. I don't buy the idea of oh, somebody was taking care of his account, somebody was uh, sending all, all those messages. Y'all is not a kid, it's an adult, so nobody should even be coming around saying all, all sorts of things that is not the one in charge of his account. That is, I mean, he, he can't be saying that. Yeah? And if you want to get married to I mean, as many women as you want, then let him go ahead and do that. You understand? I mean, because to me, it's not a crime. If, if that's what he wants to do and he can afford to do it, then let him, let him go ahead and do that. So whoever you have left that, okay, you don't want to have anything to do with that again, let her be, let her live her life. Stop putting your nose or putting your mouth into, into her things because it, it, you look bad while doing that. It doesn't it doesn't help, and, and you, you must have come round to your senses. That probably explain why you deleted all all of those messages, and now turning around to send a uh, heartfelt message to your late son. So, men, the lesson that we all need to learn in all this is, when you are done, you you are done. Move on with your life. Whatever thing that connects you, maybe kids or business or whatever, deal with that strictly and mind your own business. Do you and live your own life. You understand? You're living your life on one hand and you are putting your mouth into, into the life of your ex, somebody you call your ex on the other side. It doesn't make any sense. It makes, it makes you look ridiculous. You're just making a fool of yourself. That's, that's just, my, I mean, it might be harsh, but I, I think we, we have to tell ourselves the truth. Hmm? We, we, we just need to tell us the truth. That's it's just a pure, unadulterated truth right there. So, you are done with the woman. Let her go. Whatever thing she does in her life is none of your business. In as much, it doesn't affect whatever things you have together, maybe a case of business. So, focus on your kids. Do whatever is, is necessary to, to, to contribute positively to their life. Not sending stories back and forth all over the internet. How, how does that help the kids? They have friends. They, I mean, they will, they will be a topic of gossip everywhere. How would you think that would make them happy? So my advice to men generally, I mean, there are lessons to be learned from all of this. We need to learn from all of this. When you are done with your partner, when you are done with your woman, that means you are done. Move on with your life. Stop going around like you're not a stalker why are you stalking the woman either online or offline i don't, I don't really understand if she goes them to going out with a married man even though that is very wrong but hey what what i mean how does i how does i even concerns you i don't i don't really understand so we men i think that the lesson learned here is we all need to be careful when you say you are done you are done 
if you want, and if you perhaps want to stay, they come back. There are better ways of doing this rather than all this nonsense going on all, all around town. And for those online in laws that are blaming A, B, C, and D, I can promise you for free, you don't even have a clue what is go what I mean, what's what what is going on in the in the, in those in their lives. You understand everything we are we are all just commenting about is what we see online. What actually brought them together, we do not know. What separates them, we do not know. We don't even have a clue. So uh, I'm not going to sit down here supporting A, B, C, and D. Oh, y'all is this. Oh, uh, May is that. Uh, Queen May is this. Listen, this, this. I mean, you don't do that. You don't do that. The best we can do. A, encourage them, pray for them, whatever they are going through. I mean, let them, may God see them through, through it. And B, what do we learn from all of this? What lesson, what are the lessons learned from all of this? Especially for men. For men. If you are done, like I keep saying, you are done. You, you move on with your life. And if you want to perhaps say they come back, yeah, so be it. There are better ways of doing that rather than all, all of this. Then for women generally, I mean, come on. Um, you left a man. I'm not referring to me. I'm just talking generally because that those are part of the thing uh, we should talk about here. You left a man because of infidelity. That's a stupid move right there. If your man is sleeping around, stay in your home, don't even create that vacuum for another woman to come in. You understand? I mean, it's, it's not a biggie to me. That's just the way it is. But leaving your home, leaving your marriage, leaving your kids or whatever, you understand, because of uh, your husband is sleeping around or has a girlfriend or has a woman friend or whatever, you understand, to me it's senseless. Because where are you going to go, especially at that age? Where are you going to go? Definitely you're going to go to another man. So what makes you think that man is not going to be worse? Is is, is not going to be worse off compared to your ex-husband. Do you understand? So if that one starts slipping around, so what are you going to do? You're going to leave that one again? So that's just the way I look at it. It doesn't make any sense. Stay in your home. Whoever wants to come in or whoever the second wife might be, let them go and find their own base elsewhere. Let him deal with it. If he has the money to marry two wives, then let him deal with it. You see, you're not going to leave your own home or leave your own marriage and allow another woman to come in there and occupy your space because you're angry or because I don't, I don't even understand what that is all about. The only reason, like I said earlier, that I would say to any woman to leave their home, if that is if he has anything to do with domestic violence, and that is, that's just it. Leave and save your life. You can only be alive to protect your kids and all of that. So that is that. So, hey, that's all I've got for you today. Perhaps if you have anything contrary to what I said, please feel free. Put it in the comment section. I mean, I made a video, video earlier on. Somebody made a comment, which definitely I'm going to reply to. Uh, somebody was saying, oh, maybe I'm taking... Listen, I'm not taking any side here. A, because I don't even know them. B, I don't know their story. I don't know the full story. So how will I be taking side when I don't know full story? I'm only commenting, my own. My comment is purely based on what is out there in the open, what they put out there by themselves. And I'm referring to um, Yol Edoshe now. He was the one that sent those messages out. I'm not going to sit down there and say, oh, he wasn't the one. No, he was the one because I believe whoever owns that account is responsible for that account. And it's not a kid. It's not a minor. It's a grown-ass man. So he is responsible for what comes out of that account. So left to me is the one that keeps sending all of those stuffs out. And I can only comment based on what he sent out himself, not from hearsay. I'm not commenting based on hearsay because I don't even know them. You understand? So he put all those all of those stuffs out there and I'm bound to comment on it in my own program. My name is Brosby. Do comment, do subscribe until I see you again next time. I hope there is not going to be another <laughs> part four or part five of this. If they bring it up, we're going to talk about it. I promise you that. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye now and stay safe.